All right, so we just pulled the lid off the fermenter. It has stopped uh, bubbling a few days ago. And uh, I just let it rest and settle. Now I'm just gonna siphon it out and uh, transfer it over and get it uh, out to the distillery. First, I'm gonna take a specific gravity reading. And you can sure smell, it's, it's quite a bit sour. You can smell that now. So we'll see how that looks. Check the uh, gravity reading and go from there. So the specific gravity reading was 1.19. So not as I would have loved to have seen it get below that, but there's quite a bit of uh, extra stuff in here with the molasses and everything. So we'll run this and uh, we'll just do a stripping run. I haven't set up the double thumper yet, so that'll be later on. And uh, we'll just get this uh, stripped out. So the still set up in a just a, a straight column still um, uh, and to a pot still set up. I do have three sections of copper packing into here. Sorry, I haven't got quite up high enough. There it is. So I've got three sections of copper packing into here. And then we just go up to the T, the extension, and then yeah, the extension, and then down to the uh, condenser. And I don't have the periton because, once again, it's not important today. I'm just going to do small little samples to see when I get down to about 10%. And then it'll go right into my corn and keg. So we're pretty much all set up. I'm just going to okay. So we're pretty much all set up now. I'm just going to dump my. Uh, uh, wash into here You know, one thing I will say is, I never thought that molasses could actually smell sour. Um, with all the sugar and everything in there, I'm really actually very surprised that it is, and it even tastes really sour. So, it's interesting. Um, I'm finding it fascinating, and I can't wait to see what this tastes like. For now, I'm going to run it through this, and this is just set up in a straight pot still. And I just want to reduce it all, and for uh, a few days' time, I'm going to set up with the double thumper and we'll run it through that.